Hey guys, King of Charms here, and today I bring to you a video on we need this for gems in Monster Hunter now. And what we need is we need a way to gain gems in Monster Hunter now, and an in-game system is what I mean. Now I had one of my comments on my video that had a really valid point, I totally forgot about this. And this comment was from Christopher the Reigns 2243 The issue is the storage box. If they keep the storage increase, excluding free-to-play players, the necessary increase in monsters will make the game totally unmanageable for us. They need to make it like Pokemon Go and open the storage increases with in-game obtainable currency. So that is a really good point. We need a system to earn gems, which are the in-game currency in Monster Hunter now for free in-game. And Pokemon Go has this system, so why doesn't Monster Hunter now have one? Now, for those of you that have never played Pokemon Go or you've never played it really hardcore, I don't remember, it has an in-game currency system. It actually had two systems, so the first system was when it first released. And I'm going to call Pokemon Go Pogo for short for its first in-game currency system. When Pogo first released, you can get coins by having Pokemon in gyms and collecting them in the shop menu. So as you see in the top right, you see a collect now. Well, using that system, you could earn up to 100 coins a day by having 10 Pokemon in gyms. As you see in this example, this trainer had four Pokemon assigned, so they earned 40 coins. So players could earn 10 coins per Pokemon in gyms and earn startups, which was needed to power up Pokemon. And now here's Pokemon Go current in-game system. A couple of months after Pogo was released, the gym system was revamped. Pogo's current system rewards you with coins for how long a Pokemon has been in a gym before it's knocked out by another player. And you could earn up to 50 coins a day with this system. And every hour spent in the gym would equal 6 coins. Honestly, as a Pogo player, I like the old system versus this system because your Pogo Pokemon just had to stay in the gym versus having to get knocked out. But regardless, as you see here, Pokemon Go does have a way to earn in-game currency with activities in the game. Now, believe it or not, there's actually an instance right now in Monster Hunter Now where you get gems in the current Monster Hunter Now system. And this is the only instance where you are rewarded gems. So, as you see here, after I take out this Great Jagras, I will go on to Hunter Rank 11. So, once you hit Hunter Rank 11, as you see in this menu, right, it's coming in shortly, you're awarded 300 gems. So here I make Hunter Rank 11, and bam, my rewards for it is right there, 300 gems. And that's the only way you can get it right now. There is no other current free-to-play way to obtain gems in the game. Now, what I think is ridiculous is that this is literally the only time that you're awarded gems. It doesn't matter if you hit Hunter Rank 20, 30, 50, or even 100. There is never an instance where you get rewarded gems ever again by making a certain Hunter Rank in Monster Hunter now. With that being said, there are multiple ways they could implement in-game currency earning systems for gems. First off, we have daily quest rewards. We do these every day. Why not give us five quests that give us 10 gems each? So if we complete a single quest, it gives us 10 gems and they could just range from like killing one large monster, etc. Also event quest rewards. Wyvern gem starts, please keep Wyvern gem starts, but everything else, can we get some gems too? Completing a set of quests gives gems as a reward. That'd be nice for events. So it would entice more people to play those events because you're gonna get in-game currency like gems. Also, probably one of the easy ways to do it, make it as a reward for slaying large monsters. Obviously, there has to be a cap, but make it so each large monster you slay gives like five gems up to a certain limit. For example, if it's a 50 gem limit per day, just like in Pokemon Go where it's 50 coins, then killing 10 large monsters equals 50 gems. Not unreasonable, not bad, would give me more of a motivation to finish my 10, my dailies, and kill more large monsters throughout the day as well. And you could also even implement as a reward for large gathering nodes. So as you see, I'm just walking through large gathering nodes and you can get a certain limit of gems by tapping on large gathering nodes. So collecting from those, you get a chance from getting gems. And if you like, if you want to make it, just cap a limit, put like a 50 to 100 gem limit for us every day. And it'll be easily, it'll be easy to implement these ways to where we can have our own in-game currency system that we deserve in Monster Hunter now. Hopefully we can earn gems in a future update. This will allow players who do not want to spend on the game, free to players, a way to expand their storage box and for other resources. One of my friends, he's a free to player in Pokemon Go. He specifically, he has spent some money, but not nearly as much as me and my other friends have. But 
He's 90 per 90, I would say 97% of free to player, and that's thanks to the in game currency system in Pokemon Go so that you can get coins. So, we need one for Monster Hunter now. Hopefully, it happens in the future. Nianta slash Capcom, I'm not asking for anything unreasonable. It's something that's already in your other game, so you should put it in this game, please and thank you. With that being said, please do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your grinds, and I will see y'all on the next video.